Hello everyone, my name is Anthony Lucia and we are here at Resist All Hats. I'm standing alongside of two legends in their own field. We got Trevor Brazil, 23 time world champion cowboy, as well as the king of the hat shapers, Justin Thomason. And we're gonna be talking about straw hats and basically everything that goes into them. You know, Resist All has been making hats since 1927, manufactured right here in the good old US of A. And I, what I really wanna know today is, and I'm gonna ask you this, what do you look for in a straw hat? You know, it varies from year to year, you know, different trends and things of that matter, but I always like a good venting up top because when it comes time to switch from a felt to a straw, you wanna yeah. know you wanna know you're wearing a straw. And so the venting is real important to me up top. And obviously a great crease, which yeah. that's why Justin's here. <laughs> and so those two things together, that that makes my hat. Okay, so if you buy a hat and you get an open crown. What would you suggest? I mean, a guy like myself, I don't know how to shape hats and I buy an open crown. Can I do it? No, Absolutely. you stop. <laughs> you stop and take it to somebody who can. <laughs> okay. That you feel confident. Okay. But, but, you know, yes, we do recommend you guys take it to a professional person okay. uh, to shape it. But if you don't, if you need it for a wedding that day, mm -hmm. you can get like a small tea kettle okay. and some aluminum foil or something like that okay. to where it gets you a good funnel. Um, so make sure you steam the crown okay. And so just make kind of a starter crease if you're gonna do a traditional cattleman crease. Okay. Um, just make sure that uh, it's definitely lined up straight. So then how do you how do you make sure of that? Is there a, so is there a certain place on the top of the hat where you're looking? So there's there's a center, there's a die on the sweatband. Okay. And of course there's a, a bow in the back okay. of the sweatband. But then so you wanna steam the side of the crown. Uh, to where it makes it just a tad bit soft. Okay. Um, you you kind of want to push down and in All right. to where you kind of start that little handle. I actually look at um, the center of the crown to where I see there's either more over here or more over there okay. to where it's even. But then once you got uh, kind of the center going, then start on the sides again the sides of the crown. Just kind of run your fingers on from the center to the back and the front to where it kind of gives it a kind of a real curve look. Man, that's a cool looking hat. And I love, it's so neat to watch it, how it just comes from just so round and then now it's the slowly but surely the character and the, becoming its the own. shape. And so the you know you, you want to work especially on these straw hats you want to work a little bit um, at an area or on an area at a time you definitely don't want to do one area okay um, that way you can kind of let that lacquer dry uh, or at least set to where you're not really steaming it um, and getting it real loose. That's the best thing about is the lacquer it's the perfect yeah. weight it gives the hat you know, structure and the toughness, but also it, it, it's not so much that it's heavy and making you sweat. It, it truly does do all the functions that you want a straw hat to do, whereas some companies have so much lacquer sure. that you might as well be wearing a felt. And yeah. That's why, that's you why I like You defeat the purpose of exactly, the straw. Exactly. And so like you see, I'm kind of moving the hat around to where I'm working one side and then, then going to the other. And so, once you get done with the crown, then you want to work, start working on the brim to where it doesn't take a tremendous amount of steam, but make sure the most important part is getting uh, your corners right. As you're rolling the, the brim around, you kind of want to pull it down just a tad bit uh, to where it does kind of dip more in the front. Instead of just go ahead and, and strictly working on the front, you can actually work on the back as well to where when you pull the back up, it'll actually pull that front down. Okay. And so you're also kind of working on two things at once. And so again, you want to roll that wire to where it just slowly, slowly curves. And so really the final deal, once you get the width and your, and your sides, uh, to drop it down a little bit, kind of do what we did on the, on the pre-shaped hat to where you can kind of you can kind of push it, but as you're as you're pushing down, you're using your thumbs. We're using our thumbs to kind of push to kind the of straw out. Right, 
without you know putting a real real hard shape to it you know with these these open crowns you're going to have just to bend the straw just a tad bit in order for it to come down because of course they're they're pressed flat or even up um, so of course it's going to have to just bend just a tad and so right there you have your wow. finished hat that's good stuff I feel like I'm a professional hat creaser now. <laughs> Rodeo ready? Man. Absolutely. <laughs>